This is using Apps Script to add form response items back into the form. So I already have my form set up. Let's go ahead and look at the preview. That's going to be easier to see what we're doing. Basically, I have a group activity brainstorming sheet here or form here. I want users to come in, put in their name, select all the activities they're interested in doing. And then, because I don't want to constrain them to just these two, I also want them to be able to add additional options here. But I want these options to come back up here for all future users. Basically, user A comes in. Selects, yeah, they want to do basketball, but they're also interested in tennis. When they hit submit and user B comes in, I want user B to have tennis as one of their options here. That's what I'm trying to do. There's no default way to do that. So we're going to use app script to break that open. I already have my sheet and it's already linked up. You can see it's linked here. So let's open up our script editor. This is from tools script editor. Now I'm doing an on form submit trigger. Unfortunately, there isn't something just called on form submit. We've used something like that before where we could just do on edit on this though. I can't do that. Let's just see what happens. Logger.log e.values. Okay, and if I put something in, submit it, then over here, all right, it came in, but if I come back to the project, there's no executions. Okay, so I'm gonna have to set up a installed trigger to actually run this. So let's go ahead and start that Let's call it add new choice. Great. Make it really clear what we're trying to do here. For now, let's just save it and make sure it's working properly. So I'm coming to triggers here on the left side, adding trigger, add new choice. And the event type I want is on form submit. When I hit save, it's going to ask me for some permissions. Great, so it came up with this pop-up. It's asking me to, like I said, create the permissions, accept the permissions. Till the developer verifies this app. Well, I'm the developer. I'm going to say, yes, I trust the developer. It just wants you to give really explicit permissions for an installed trigger to run. So let's come back here, submit another response. S2, let's do basketball again, submit that. It came in, and now if I go to executions, I have a completed execution and it's giving me all the data. That's the e.values is giving me everything out of there. This is exactly what I'm looking for, perfect. So the flow that I want to do is, whenever a submission comes in, I want to go to the form, get the checkbox item, get all the items from that checkbox item, and then add a new item to it. That's just the flow that changing form response items requires. I cannot just add something directly to this. I actually have to get all of these, make an array of these items, put a new object, a new uh, choice into that array, and then push that array back out. That will probably make more sense in the actual script. So first things first, let's open up our form. So let form equals form app. This is interesting. Since we're actually getting the values from the E object, we don't ever have to open spreadsheet app. Most things we've had to use a spreadsheet app. We've used ranges on the spreadsheet. Here, the spreadsheet is where everything is going, but we don't actually have to use it at all. So open by ID. Now, the ID I want here is not the full URL. I don't need all of this. I'm just gonna need this part, but importantly, I don't want the ID of the final form. I want the ID of the editable form. And we can see those are different. This starts IMBZ, this starts 1FA. 
I guess that's one MB, but they're different. So let's paste that in. And I want to get that checkbox item. Let's just do let check since we're just doing the one. Form dot get items. This is going to give me all of the items. I just want the checkbox item. That's going to be way simpler than trying to filter through later. So here, luckily, we can sort this. So I want all of the checkbox items. That's all I want. Let's get rid of that for now. Comment that out because I want to look at what's in the check. And if you remember, if we tried to run something that calls this E parameter without actually having it invoked by the trigger, it's going to fail. Cannot read property values of undefined. E is not defined unless it comes to the trigger. So E.values is going to fail. If I comment that out, it's going to skip over that and run just fine. Perfect. So check now contains an array, a box with one item in it. Okay, well, I don't need the box, I need the item. Since arrays are zero indexed, I want array item zero. Perfect, now I have the item without the box. However, what I have here is an item, not a checkbox item. Let's look at what that means. So here's the developer resource about forms. So this is the form class, which we got here, form app dot open by ID that gave us a form, which is what we need initially, because this has the get items. And like I says, it gives us an array of all the items of that type. Let's open up item. So this is what I currently have as an item. An item is a generic form item that contains properties common to all items to operate on type specific properties. That's what I need. I need the specific types of checkbox items cast the item to the appropriate class using a method like as checkbox item. That's exactly what we want. Because in here, I don't have any anything about the choices. Okay, to get that, we need to open it as a checkbox item, which gives us the checkbox item. And here I have create choice, get choices, this is what I need. I need a checkbox item. So I have this item and I'm going to cast it as checkbox item. Now, if I run it, I get a checkbox item and that's exactly what I want. Okay. So next I need to open up that checkbox item, get all the options from it, and then push to it our new option. That's what we're looking to do. So I want to get all the choices. So to get all the choices, let's do let in choices. Let's get the, the ones that are currently there equals check because I have the checkbox item get choices. That's everything in there. Now again, this is going to give us an array. So if I run this as is, I get a checkbox item. Oops, I need to log that. I get an array of the choices. Currently there's two choices, basketball, hiking. That's great. Now I want an array to which I can push those options and my new option. So out choices, or just out, but I'm gonna do out choices. That's gonna be an array. This does not have to be a two-dimensional array. Oftentimes when we're doing the sheets, we need a two-dimensional array for row and column. Here, we just need an array, much simpler. Now I have a for loop. I want to loop through all of the items currently in the in choices. So let I in in choices. That's gonna loop through all of them. And then I want to push each element of in choices into out choices. So that's going to be out choices dot push in choices I. 
And then at the end, let's just log out choices. Perfect, gave me those. Now, here's the important step that's going to give me something that forms normally doesn't do. Out choices dot push. And here I actually need to create a choice. I can't just push text into it. Kind of like in the spreadsheet, you can't just call, um, you have to call the range to get the values. Here I need to create a choice to push that choice. So now let's go ahead and make that a new one just to make it obvious. Let new choice. And this is going to be from my E. Okay. And again, this is zero indexed. So A equals zero, B equals one, C equals two, D equals three. This is the one I want to add. So new choice equals E dot values element three or index three. So now I can do with this. I want to create that as another choice. So let's create check dot create choice. That's going to give us our new our new choice that I can push in. So out choices dot push new choice. And then let's go ahead and log out choices again. So we can see that something changed. Oh, why did this crash? Because I'm trying to call E where E doesn't exist. So instead of running this manually, let's go ahead and submit a new response. My name is Spencer. I like hiking and pickleball is the new option I want to add. Submit it. Okay, it came in. Check my executions. Here's the one that failed because I tried to run it manually. All right, perfect. So if we look back at our log, at our script editor, we have three logs. We're logging what check itself is which should just be a checkbox item. We're logging here all the array out choices, and then we're logging here the array out choices after adding the new choice. And that's exactly what we get. Checkbox item, an array with two choices, and then an array with three choices. Now, we're not done yet. Creating it doesn't actually do anything. If I come to submit another, it's still not there. So, I now actually need to set these choices. So check, go back to my checkbox item, dot set choices, out choices. And now I should get that. So let's come back, Spencer F. I like hiking and spike ball. Spike ball's fun. Submit. Here again, hiking and spike ball. Let's make sure it ran through properly and didn't error on us. Wonderful, and we still have the checkbox item, two choices and then three choices. Now, if I come to submit another response, spike ball is now an option. And I can do that again, right? Someone comes in and says, I like basketball and spike ball. This is Dean. And Dean also likes tennis. Here's Dean's response, basketball and spike ball and tennis. And now if I submit another response, tennis is now an option here. So I think this is really cool that we can edit, we can modify the form based on the form responses itself. You could probably do the same script inside the form editor. You probably wouldn't have to access it from the spreadsheet. I like doing it from the spreadsheet because we can see all the responses from here.
but you do have access to a script editor. No, it's somewhere in here. There, there is a script editor on the form itself. This could probably be done from there as well, but since it's gonna give us the sheet, I decided to do it from there. Important things to remember, you cannot add things to an item, you must first get it as a specific item. Then you cannot just add a choice, you actually have to fill all of the choices at once. So we use this out choices array and filled it up with all of the current choices, created a new choice, added that choice to the array, and then finally we actually have to set those choices into the original form. As always, thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful or if my other videos have been at all, please like, subscribe, share if that's useful to you. And then you can always connect with me either in the comments below, by my email, my website, LinkedIn, Twitter, and you can also find me on the official Google forums as a product expert for Sheets.